All right, so check this out, okay? I'm gonna start with a very basic equation that says x equals three, all right? So x is three. I can replace x with three and it will be a true equation. That's the only number I can replace x with, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to square both sides, okay? So now I have x squared equals, let me do three times three, is nine. Cool? All right. Now what I want to do is I want to solve for x. Since x is being squared, I need to do the square root of that. So I need to take the square root of the other side. The square root and the x squared cancel each other out, so I'm left again with x equals the square root of nine. Well, to be very clear, the square root of nine is positive negative three, which means my two solutions to this equation that I just solved are three and negative three. So if I go back to my original equation, which we said x was three, yeah, I can plug three and get it. But the negative three, does that equal three? No, it doesn't. So this leads us into a new idea, all right? A new concept that sometimes when we square a side and then we need to take the square root of a side, it creates a scenario. Even though it gives us a solution, that solution may not be an answer to our um, actual equation, all right?